in your notebook write today's date 8.1 apply exponent properties involving products now copy these notes down to find the product of powers add the exponents power of the power multiply the exponents and the third rule is power of the product find the power of each product and multiply so remember these three rules and if nothing else works you are welcome to expand and solve them now copy this power of the product you find the power of each product and multiply so copy this rule and this is an example we want to work it out as well so you have a b the whole entire thing gets an exponent of three so what you're going to do is the power of the product so this is a product a and b are multiplying and the power is three so you're going to apply the power to a you're going to apply the power to b so you're going to give it to each individual one so a gets the power of three and b gets the power of three and that is the answer copy question number 10. Now look at this question, you've got negative 3 gets a power of 2. So if I were to expand this, I'm going to write it as negative 3 times negative 3. Now if I were to expand this, I would write this as negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, and negative 3. And if I were to expand this, I would just write it as negative 3. So which basically means I'm just going to write it as once. So if there is a number without any exponent, you take it as 1. So now if you multiply these, you are looking at negative and negative gives you positive. Negative and negative gives you positive. Negative and negative gives you positive. And there is one additional negative which is stuck. So the final answer is going to be a negative answer. So if you count the number of negatives, you are finding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 negatives means it's going to be an odd number of negatives so it's going to be final answer will be a negative now there are two ways you can take this question you can take the answer to look like negative three i have one two three four five six seven so depending on the answer choice your answer might either look like this which is negative three gets an exponent of seven which is in the simplest form, or the final answer will be the whole entire thing multiplied. So the final answer will be negative, and 3 times 3, 3 times 3, 3 times 3, 3. You multiply all the 3s to get 2, 1, 8, 7. So the answer will either look like this or look like this, and both of them are correct. Copy this question, number 12. Now this one is talking about the power of the power so using the power of the power rule watch this so 7 gets a power of 4 and the whole entire thing gets another power so this is the power of the power so when you are applying the power of the power rule it's basically you want to multiply the exponent and that is the rule now let's see why we have to so 7 to the power of 4, the whole entire thing. If I were to expand this, it's going to look like 7 to the power of 4 once, 7 to the power of 4 again, 7 to the power of 4 the third time. So the power 3 means I have to repeat it three times. So now if I were to expand this, it's going to be 7 times, 7 times, 7 times, 7, because the 4 implies 7 has to repeat four times. Now this is going to break up as 7 times, 7 times, 7 times, 7. And this is going to break apart as 7 times, 7 times, 7 times, 7. So which basically means 7, if I count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 7 to the power of 12. Now watch this. If you apply the power of the power rule, you basically, all you have to do is 7 to the power of 4 times 3 is going to be 12. And whether you expand and solve it or whether you apply the rule you're going to get the same answer but if you memorize the rule and you remember the rule then you can do your calculations fairly easy copy 
happy question number 34. Now look at this question. You get negative 20 x cube. The whole entire thing is a 2. Now you got to be really cautious. If you have a parenthesis and the 2 is outside the parenthesis, then the 2 applies for every single term. So the 2 actually goes to the negative, the 2 goes to the 20, and the 2 goes for the x cubed. So you got to be applying the 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the minus sign and give it the power of 2. I'm going to open the 20 and give it the power of 2. I'm going to open my x cube and give it the power of 2. So I am doing the power of the power. So I'm just applying the 2 to each one of the individual ones. And then I have a negative x to the power of 7 on the side. So this will be your first step. There are multiple ways to solve the question. This is just one way. So negative gets squared. So which basically means negative times negative. And two negatives gives you a positive. So the final answer is going to be a positive for this. So now 20 to the power of 2. So what I'm going to do is let me break apart each and individual ones. So negative times negative. 20 times 20, which is this. And x cubed. It's a power of 2. So this is apply the power of the power. So 3 times 2 is going to give you 6. And then you have negative 7. So now negative times negative is going to be a positive. And 20 times 20 is going to become 400. X to the power of 6 times negative x to the power of 7. Now one thing you got to be cautious is this. The x to the power of 7 is different and the negative is different. So when you multiply something by a negative, it's going to come up as a negative answer. So now I have 400 x to the power of 6 times x to the power of 7. Now, if you expand this, you're going to get x, 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 6 times, and this you're going to get 7 times. Or if you apply the product of the powers, product of the powers rule, all you have to do is just add the exponents. So one way to remember is this. If the bases are the same, you just add the exponents. So 6 plus 7 is going to give you 13, and this will be the final answer. Copy this question. This will be your EOC type question. Which expression is equivalent to 36x to the power of 12? And you are given four choices, A, B, C, and D. Now, you have to work it backwards from the answer choice to get to the question. So, let's try answer choice A. So, 6x cubed to the power of 4. Now, the 4 is outside the parenthesis. So, you're going to apply the 4 to the 6. So you're going to apply the 4 to this one. So this is going to look like 6 gets the power of 4 and x cubed gets the power of 4. So you apply the power to every single term inside the parenthesis. So 6 to the power of 4 will be nothing but 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. And x 3 gets the power of 4. So this will be the power of the power. So the power of the power rule tells you that you need to multiply. So 3 times 4 gives you 12. Now if I highlight and show you, 3, 4. So the power of the power, you multiply to get 12. So when you multiply 6, 6, 6, and 6, you're going to get 1, 2, 9, 6, x to the power of 12. But you need 36 x to the power of 12. So A is out. Let's try B. Here you got 12 x to the power of 4 times 3 x to the power of 3. You multiply the numbers. This implies multiplying. So you just multiply the numbers 12 and 3. 12 times 3 is going to give you 36. And x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 3. So if they happen to have the same base, 
If they happen to have the same base, you just add the exponent. So you get 36 x to the power of 4 plus 3 is 7. You get 36 x to the power of 7, but you need 36 x to the power of 12. So B is out. Let's try C. Three x cubed times four x cubed gets the exponent three. So the first one there is no change. I'm just going to write it as three x cubed. Now if I look at the second one, the three is on the outside of the parenthesis just for this. So I'm going to apply the three to this, and I'm going to apply the three to this. So four gets the three, and x cubed gets another three. So three x cubed and 4 gets a 3 implies 4 times 4 times 4. So if I expand this is what it's going to look like and this is going to look like x to the power of 9 power of the power. Power of the power means you multiply. So now if you multiply the numbers 3, 4, 4 and 4 you're going to get 192 x cubed x9. So which is going to look like 192 x to the power of 12. The way that I'm getting the 12 is if the base are the same, you just add the exponent. 192 x to the power of 12, but you need 36 x to the power of 12. C is out. Now let's try the last one, which is D. Six x to the power of five, the whole entire thing gets a two times x squared. So since the whole entire parenthesis gets two, the two is gonna go for the six, the two is also gonna go for this. So six gets the two, use the parenthesis really, really well, and x five, the whole entire thing, gets another two, stick it inside the parenthesis, times x squared. Don't do all the steps in one step. So this becomes six times six. And this becomes x to the power of 10. This is power of the power, which is an easy rule to remember. So 5 times 2 gives you a 10 times x squared. 6 times 6 is 36. And this one, when the bases are the same, you add the exponent. So this is going to be x to the power of 12. 36 x to the power of 12 is what you need. So the correct answer in this case will be 18.